What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report, as well as cooking and tailgating with Joe Boo. All right, so it is game day morning. It's 9 o'clock. All the games are early for the Cowboys, the Eagles, and the Giants, and so we got to be ready early. Today, what's on the menu is, uh, with us doing uh, trying to get back on keto, um, I'm going to do a beanless chili. Um, the thing about chili is you got to be careful about the tomatoes. The tomatoes are the key on that. So what we're going to do is i got peppers and onions in here that I'm sauteing. I have my <clears throat> red chili paste that I made. showed you how I did that before. I've got some turkey. I've got some Italian hot sausage. And i got some beef. So it's basically going to be a nice beef, uh, just a meat chili. And that will go great with the hot dogs. The other thing is Detroit is famous for... Coney Island hot dogs, deep dish pizza, and corned beef sandwiches. So we're going to actually do a three-foot, um, like, Reuben sub. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, sub roll, we're going to open it up, I'm going to put butter on it, we're going to grill that part of the bread, flip that on over, and then what we're going to do is, the butter on the other side as well, we're going to go ahead and put Swiss cheese on there, we're going to put corned beef, we're going to put the Russian dressing, and uh, Swiss cheese with sauerkraut. And so I'm making my Russian dressing, and so I've got half mayonnaise, half ketchup, and the other part of it is just relish. That's all it is for the sauce for this. We're going to put plenty of that in there. Mix it up. We're going to get this ahead ready early. Get this ahead. Now, this will be an easy sub to get in there. And, of course, we'll have our Joe Boo wings. So I'm getting prepped up. I've got the uh, studio set up just about finished. And um, I've got my morning video out. And now we're getting the eats ready to feed the troops. So there you go. You've got a nice orange dressing here for the sub. This will actually be one of those ones that's actually pretty easy day-wise. It's not going to take a lot of time to um, make the sub. Um, it's basically warming up the corned beef. And uh, once the corned beef is warmed up and grilling the bread, you can put all that together and boom. Now for this chili, Again, I've got my onion sauteed. I'm going to put my turkey in here. And this is one of those things that you can use whatever meats you have. I thought I had some ground pork in there. Usually I buy, when you go to BJ's, not that I'm getting paid by BJ's, but they usually have like three of these of turkey or of pork meat that you can get. And um, it's like $10 or so for the three packets. They're like a pound and a third for each of them. And so, I'll get those for, um, and, and put them in the freezer and have those ready for my meat. And um, I found, here's, here's the thing that's kind of interesting, okay. Normally, I would buy a case of Rotel, case of Rotel at BJ's. So, it's like eight cans and it's usually like $7. Great price for it. Rotel is great if you want to make a base for uh, the Conte sauce and things. I like to use it in the chilies and things like that because it's spicy. It's got the tomatoes and stuff in it. And if you're doing keto, if I remember right, this is the thing that's cool about this. This has two and a half servings in it. Sugar-wise, it only has um, three grams of sugar. Okay? It's still a little bit of sugar into it. Not terrible. But total carbs, it's only five carbs, but it's got two grams of fiber. So in this, you're only getting three net carbs, which is good. I like using that, and I like using my mama's tomatoes, because my mama, she don't add no sugar to them. These are grown, kissed by the sun, and handled by my mom. So you know that that's some good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and brown my meats here, and then I'm going to be adding my tomatoes, my tomatoes, um, the uh, Rotel and the chili powder he pasted in here. Uh, we'll put a little more cumin up into it. Uh, we'll put some chipotle chili powder in there, some garlic salt and stuff and get that to taste, and some, of course, um, cayenne pepper for a little heat. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let this stuff simmer, and I'll be back. I was saying something about Rotel. Here's where something that, that's really kind of crazy um, like I was saying about Rotel, I usually buy a, a box of it at, at um, BJ's. 
haven't had it the last couple of weeks or so. So I was at the Fresh World, the, the world market that I usually go. They had it, but it was two seventy-five a piece in there. Um, I went to Giant. I think it was two twenty-five a can. Really expensive. I was at Target last night, and it was ninety-nine cents. So price is different depending on the location. Now. You can see we've got our turkey, we've got our beef, we've got our sausage and stuff in there, and you see a lot of the grease. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this to the side and try and squeeze out some of the um, fat that's in there. Not We don't want to take all of it out there because that fat is good as far as keto goes, but we don't want this to be a grease ball for those who aren't on keto. So I'm going to take out that extra fat that's in here, and then I'm going to add my tomatoes in my rotel and start putting my seasoning in here and it's 924 so i've got a good uh, three hours that i can let this simmer um to get some really to let the flavors kind of marry up we've got the like i said the turkey tastes one way which is kind of doesn't really have a taste to it you got the beef and then you got the pork italian hot sausage you got the onions you've got the jalapeno peppers in there and then we'll add some cumin We'll add cayenne pepper, all these to taste now. Um, dark chili powder, chipotle chili powder, and um, my chili paste. The chili paste will give it a nice, now you see how much fat we took out of that. That's quite a bit. We're going to let that get hard, and then we can put that in the trash, so that way it won't clog up our uh, sink. The last thing you want to do is put grease, the bacon grease and stuff in there. All right, so I got my two cans of Rotel. I actually took the extra liquid out of the Rotel because I just want the peppers and the onions. My mom's tomatoes, she just puts a little bit of salt in them to uh, cure the, uh, or keep them, um, geez, to keep them uh, from, of course, boiling because that's how you have to do it when you can. And um, that's it. And I'll put in a can of tomato sauce which will um, just make it saucy. But you can see all the, let's get you closer. You can see all the meats up in there. You can see the juice on there. And then we'll get a can of tomato sauce to put in there. And we have to be careful with the tomato sauce because that's where you get your sugar. Now, as this cooks down, tomatoes break down some more. This will get saucy on it. All right, so let's add some of our chili paste. Quite a bit of this chili paste in here. This is the flavor here, guys. We're gonna put some cumin. Garlic salt. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to taste this to test it out to make sure that it's good. This is some dark brown chili powder. Get my chipotle. Lots of chipotle chili powder. All right, we're gonna start stirring that up, and then we'll get a can of tomato sauce to go with this. And no beans, so we're trying to keep the carbs out. See how the colors are already beginning to change in there? And this will be great on the glizzies, the hot dogs. Mmm. And the thing is, when you're cooking the meats, keep chopping it up because you want it to be small pieces. Look at that. Look at that color. I'm going to put some more of my paste in there. Does it look like chili? Oh, look at that. Ooh. Believe it or not, this is all of about 40 minutes total time of starting this to getting to this point. So this is on cruise control now. We're going to turn it down and just let it simmer once I get all the chili paste mixed up into it. I've got my breading for the uh, chicken wings ready to go. So I have that set up outside. We've got our chicken wings are thawed out. We have our meats out in the outdoor refrigerator. 
And um, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And we'll taste test it to see how the seasonings are. Mmm. I want more kick, more cayenne, and a little bit more salt. Want it to be spicy. You do need the salt into it. And I also put garlic in this as well. I love garlic salt. I love actually the Lowry's garlic salt because it seems like it has parsley and some other things in it as well. And I'm gonna put some more chipotle chili powder in there. Look at that. All right, so we got our chili, our chili together, and the rest of this is gonna be easy today. Now I gotta go finish getting the studio put together. Uh, I put out the seating and stuff. I gotta blow off the leaves because it's fall now and get that can of tomato sauce. Guess what? I don't have any tomato sauce. So we're just gonna do it just like this. But you can see the color and everything else in there. That's good. This will be perfect for chili dogs too. All right, so the sauce would be good in it, not necessary. And at least we're gonna keep away from some of the sugar as well. All right, y'all, next step is gonna be out cooking. Uh... All right, so here it is. It's now 1030, okay? We've let the chili start to cook down a little bit. And you can see, look at the color. Okay, look, come, come a little closer. Look at this. Look at the color on the chili. Nice. Look at that. You got the sauciness. You got the meat that's ground up real good. And it's got a nice spicy kick to it. And it's ready to go. Now, because we do have some people that are doing keto. And, you know, I think I'm going to try and get back into doing full keto. Maybe. But for those who are doing keto... What we can do here is, for them, instead of the deep fried wings, we'll have the deep fried wings in the sauce. We can do that. But what we're also going to do is we grill chicken wings and end up putting those with hot sauce on them. Or we end up doing as jerk ones. So you can get the wings without, of course, them being deep fried. So that's truly keto. If you do get the sandwich, just don't eat the bread. Your corned beef is good. The, the, the sauerkraut, the... Um, sauce, although the sauce does have some ketchup in it, a little bit of sugar, yeah, as long as it doesn't have too much sauce on there. You can eat the meats and things and still be keto on there. So you got the chili, you can eat the meats off the sandwich, and of course you've got the wings. So there you go. That's a way of doing keto here on game day. And this chili, look at that. Woo! This will go good on the hot dogs too.